Hi, I'm BJ Kosin and welcome to the Glave Kosin Gallery. And right now you're about to take a quick tour of Playfield, new works by Matt Lively. So let's take a look. This piece is called Orbit and this features one of Matt's uh, most beloved characters and that is his flying sheep. Since they're light as cotton, they can just be pushed through the air. There's the lightest breeze. And this also was showing sort of a new direction for him, these sort of optical illusion houses, which you'll see more of them as you, as you go through the uh, exhibit, but houses on top of each other. And uh, this piece coming up here is uh, a really fun one where Matt would come to your house and actually paint a cloud on your wall along, <laughs> along with the house. So that's, uh, that's something that you don't usually get from artists, but Matt is not a typical painter. The whole show is Playfield, and it's actually inspired, believe it or not, by pinball machines because of that high enamel, glossy color, and also the wood grain that you see on some of the older style pinball machines, like, like you see in this painting here, where you can actually really see the grain of the wood. Coming up here is a piece that uh, is very, very popular, a motif of mats that's very popular. And this is his, of course, his tree houses. His houses in actually inside a tree. And he's gone back to this um, image in, in a various, uh, various um, incantations or incarnations, rather. Uh, there's even one humongous one, even bigger than this one. And this one's, I think, eight by nine feet. Uh, that's on the outside of my patron's house, if you can believe it. Coming up here is one of Matt's all-time um, favorite of Richmonders, um, his B cycles. And I believe this one, I can't remember whether there's 100 B cycles or 81 B cycles, but you'll see this image of these B cycles all over Richmond in murals and uh, lots of other um, art spaces that um, familiar with Matt's work, now you will be, now that you've seen the piece like this. Up top, there's another little piece that to me kind of looks like a bumper of a pinball machine. Uh, but this was uh, something different for Matt, to actually make construction jutting out of, the, uh, out of the painting. And the other fun thing about this piece that Matt was really interested in was the shadow that the, that the, uh, the house would throw on the wall. Here's some more of those combination homes on top of each other. And once again, that, that wood grain um, actually being revealed. And lo and behold, a pinball machine! <laughs> it actually works and it's here till the 20th. So if you want to come play some pinball, come on down and see us. There's some more of homes up top here on our mezzanine. And uh, I think that's the idea. Matt would love to come to somebody's house and paint a cloud and put a house up somewhere high, somewhere untypical. Um, once again, here's another, uh, I believe that these pieces are from the Tilt series, and here's another great one that shows the wood grain. This is the largest piece of the show. This one's called Very Sleepy River. And uh, you can, for, for uh, Richmonders who are seeing this scene, probably recognize uh, downtown, the James River down there. Just a few more pieces in the show. And this next one is really indicative of the direction that that map is more than likely going to head in. And once again, it's dimensional. As you guys can see, there's one, two, three layers. To this, to this piece, and uh, those elongated, stretched, whimsical homes are, are just a signature thing in Matt Lively's wheelhouse. And here's a Bohemoth, another big uh, B-cycle painting, and great use of negative atmospheric space at the top to really give the bottom some weight with all of those B-cycles. And last, but certainly not least, are the smaller construction homes that he has available. The show is up uh, November 7th through November 29th, 
and November 20th, we actually have a talk back with the artist called Replay. So hope to see you then. And really appreciate you stopping by. Come back anytime. See you soon.